Hello and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a one year update of my hair since taking Minoxidil. If you found this video useful, be sure to give it a like. And if you're enjoying the content, then feel free to subscribe to my channel as I will be continuously posting updates about my hair journey and my hair growth. Okay, so just a quick background for those of you that are new to the channel. I began taking Minoxidil at the beginning of May 2020 and I started off with the topical liquid Minoxidil, which I then used for around a month up until the beginning of June, but I had to stop taking this because it was very itchy on my scalp and I ended up having a lot of dermatitis. And then from early June to mid June, I started using the topical foam minoxidil. And then from mid June 2020 up until now, which is May 2021, I have been taking 1.25 milligrams of oral minoxidil daily. And as well, for those of you that do want to know, I did shed when I first started using minoxidil. I shed for six weeks very intensely and I did lose a lot of hair, which we have now been trying to grow back. If you guys want to see more about my hair loss journey, then I do have a separate video that I will link in the description box below so you can have a bit more background about my whole hair loss journey. But I want to keep this video quite brief just to give you guys an update. So I'm gonna show a video of what my hair was like in February of 2021, which is when I last did a hair update for you guys. As you can see, my hair had grown around, I would say four to four and a half inches since the initial shedding, which is pretty much on track with normal hair growth. And then here is a video from May of 2021. I just took it this week. And as you can see, my hair is still growing. And now it has grown around six inches since the initial shedding. As you can see, my hair is looking a lot thicker at the top. I still have lots of wispy bits at the end because that is my old hair that didn't fall out when I had my uh, minoxidil shed. So hopefully as my hair continues to grow, I can start to cut those wispy bits off until my hair looks a lot more fuller and healthy. So I just want to point out that using minoxidil hasn't made my hair grow any faster than the normal hair rate. As you can see in February, my hair had grown four and a half inches, which is on track with the amount of time it had been since my shedding. And now May 2021, you can see that my hair has grown six inches it's on track with half an inch a month which is the normal rate of hair growth so my hair hasn't grown any faster using minoxidil it has just been allowed to grow properly if you guys want to know more about side effects then i've also made a couple of videos detailing common side effects related to taking minoxidil so i will also link those in the description box down below so you can check them out or else this video is going to go on forever gonna run my fingers through my hair and pull quite tightly and here you go I still get hairs coming out I got two hairs I don't know if you can see it properly so as you can see when I pull my hair there still is a little bit of hair coming out but luckily when I did the test today there was only two hairs that came out and I did a pull on the other side and that was just one hair that came out which is really good okay let me try it on the other side sorry I'm still in my pajamas I thought I'd do this before I get ready for the day oh I pulled quite tightly there one hair okay that's not too bad then I remember when I was shedding, I could just run my th fingers through my hair and a lot of hair would come out. And also before I even started minoxidil, when I was suffering with telogen effluvium, I remember having a hair pull test at the doctor's and maybe seven hairs came out onto his hand. It was quite a lot of hairs and you know, you know from experience when you run your fingers through your hair, how many hairs come out. So a lot less hair is coming out since I have been on minoxidil, which is really nice to see. So I just want to note to you guys that some of you may have seen my other video and it shows that my hair is growing back and that is true, my hair is growing back, but I am still having problems with little bits of shedding here and then. Not everything is perfect. I am still experiencing some hair loss, 
but I don't think it is too much in the grand scheme of things. It's probably around 200 hairs a day, which is really good for me because I know before all of this, I was losing a lot more than that. The hair fall that I'm experiencing at the minute is still a lot better, but I just want to show you guys how much hair falls out after two days of not washing my hair versus after three days of not washing my hair. And as you can see, there is a lot more hair that comes out after three days of not washing hair versus two days of not washing my hair. And I just want to show you guys this because I know a lot of people put off washing their hair because their hair falls out when they shower, but I feel like the longer you leave it, the more hair you're gonna see come out in the shower. If you are having problems with your hair, that hair is probably gonna fall out anyway. So if you prolong washing it, it's not necessarily going to stop your hair from falling out. It is also very important to wash your hair because you could end up with dermatitis on your scalp as well, which is something that I suffer with. That is why I try to wash my hair quite frequently. I should probably be washing it every day and every other day, but it does dry my actual hair out because I have naturally frizzy curly hair as it is. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that because I don't want you guys to think that as soon as I started Minoxidil, it fixed all of my hair loss problems. I do have an appointment booked with my dermatologist at the beginning of June. So if she gives me any type of important information, I will be sure to let you guys know. And just for my final thoughts, I'm really happy that I started taking minoxidil and ever since I started taking oral minoxidil, everything has been pretty hunky dory for me. It's very easy for me just to take a pill every day and my hair has been growing back, which is the main thing. The hair that is growing back is looking very strong and thick at the top. I do need to see what it looks like when the hair finally reaches shoulder length. So I will update you guys once it reaches there, but obviously that's probably gonna be another six months to a year until the hair actually grows to my shoulders. I can get a more honest feel for how well it has grown back my hair once it gets to that length, because before I started minoxidil and before I had dengue fever and had all my hair falling out, I was suffering with telogen effluvium and I'll show you a picture here. You can see before any of all this, I did have problems with my hair. It was falling out a lot. So when it got to shoulder length, my hair looked really wispy because so much hair had fallen out. So it was a lot thicker at the top, obviously, and hairs would just kind of snap, fall out, and my hair was not growing properly. So I want to wait until my hair gets to that length to show a side-by-side -side comparison of how well my hair has grown on minoxidil versus my hair pre-minoxidil. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. As with any kind of medication, if you're wanting to start minoxidil, then do make sure you see a hair care professional because I am no doctor. This is just my personal experience with minoxidil. And if you do work with a doctor when taking minoxidil, then they can help you with any type of side effects or questions that you may have. So do be sure to seek help from a professional. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you liked this video and found it helpful, be sure to give it a like. And if you're enjoying the content and want to stick around to see more videos about my hair journey, then be sure to subscribe to the channel because I do try to post videos whenever I feel like I have some type of relevant information that I can give you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.